Alright guys, giving you another quick speed run of Super Mario World for Super Nintendo. Welcome, this is Dinosaur Land. In this strange land, we find that Princess Toadstool is missing again. Looks like Bowser's at it again. <laughs> Why else would she be missing, right? So, starting immediately, stage one. This is the easiest stage in the game. You can pretty much run through. I'm gonna get Yoshi to tag along with me. Even though I'm gonna get rid of him later, but... Just running through. Gonna get the extra life over here. And if I was just really running through, I would literally just run and not even go anywhere. So for this part, you usually have to throw those uh, blue blocks up. But since I have Yoshi, I can just jump off of him, giving me extra height. And then hit the top of those blocks and get an extra life. And there we go. Even though I don't even need the extra lives, I'm just kind of getting them for fun. Stage 2 Same old, just a bunch of platforming um, Another extra life This game is very generous This is actually one of my first Super Nintendo games as a kid I remember being like two or three years old learning how to play this and like messing up at the button inputs but I got good very quickly and I beat a uh, link to the past when I was four years old for the first time because I guess I didn't have school or anything to do I had preschool but I mean how busy is a three or four year old gonna be you know <laughs> This stage. So just two more in this world, and then three in the next world, and then five in the star world, and then we're already at Bowser's castle, based on the path given. And I am taking some time to pick some things up. Just to get extra lives for the hell of it. And with the star, the more enemies you kill in succession, you'll eventually start getting extra lives. One, two, three, four. And it could have been more if I would have gone back and forth and Refarm some of the enemies, but that'll do. And the bonus is for uh, when the star at the top gets to 100 and you complete a stage, it takes you to a little bonus stage where you can get potentially six lives, I believe, or more, depending on how you do a certain uh, puzzle. And I'm just gonna run through this dungeon. No need to waste time here. <laughs> and there's no way to do this part any faster. Another fire flower, they're very nice. Guys at Nintendo ain't too bad. And there we go. The first boss, Iggy, Iggy Koopa. That was easy. I think his name is Iggy. Thank you. 
Yeah, Iggy Koopa, castle number one, and rescue Yoshi's friend who is still trapped in an egg. Together, they now travel to Donut Land. done with this world obviously there's way more to the game but I'm skipping a lot of stages in the process so now I'm gonna get the feather from this enemy right here that's why I didn't want to shoot any fireballs because then I just killed them and he doesn't drop it now I'm just gonna fly the whole level with Yoshi for the most part Come up here, fly some more. Get the one up. When you have a Yoshi, anything that would have been a Yoshi uh, slot gives you an extra life instead. And I'm gonna drop Yoshi so I can get the key. And when you beat a level using the key, it op it does an alternate path basically so there are so many stages in this game that that have a key ending and a regular with a goal line ending and if you press the select button it lets that item up at the top drop down so you can use that instead but if you miss it it's gone so that's why I'm using the uh, fireballs for this stage because it's just more convenient for the water and the water enemies. I can just shoot shoot at them and turn them into coins. It's way more convenient. Just a fire flower. I'm looking for the key right now. And I need that P later on. What the P does is it turns coins into solid blocks and vice versa. So that's going to be useful for later on. Drop it here while I kill this guy. And now, a bunch of solid blocks here. Oh, okay, I'm sorry, not vice versa. It just turns solid blocks into coins, that's all. And there we go. Easy as that. Time for the ghost. Now this, this stage requires a mini boss to be defeated, but it's not that bad. And you can jump right over Big Boo. You can ignore more than half of the enemies in this game. When you look away, the ghosts trail behind you. supposed to do was use the P somewhere else, not where I used it. So I gotta go back to the ghost house and try again. So this will be quick, don't worry. Even if I have to get hurt, it's fine. Alright, we're back here already. Let me get the flower. these guys pass by. I like to look at the different faces. Come over here. What I should have done was grab this and used it right over here. Because this little block leads to a vine. And when you climb the vine, there's a secret door over here. And it takes you to the boss. Which this boss is really simple. The only ways you can really die is if you run, is if you take all these blue blocks and just fall to your death. Because there's no floor, you're just standing on what you throw. So, but there's no real way he can really kill you. Like he can, but you should never let that happen. So now we get access to the star world. 
this is the fastest way to get to the star world. Pour up, and it takes us over here. Star World 1. This level's so fast. You just come all the way to, r to the right and use your spin jump and break through all these blocks on the right side. And then you get the key and lock and you're done. Which, once we finish, it'll make a full star. And of course, Bowser's on the last one, so that's fine. Now, Yoshi's full since he ate a star. But when you see a baby Yoshi, you have to make him eat, I think it's five enemies. You make him eat five enemies, and then he grows into a, a big Yoshi. But you have to, like, carry him around. And what I should be doing right now is carrying him around. Because when you're uh, in the water and you're holding something, you move way faster. But I did the long way, so... I'll just... Swim with him. Whoops. And we're almost done. So if you go into that tube, it takes you to the regular ending. But if you come this way, go faster! <laughs> if you come this way, you get the key and the lock, and you're done. Star World, whoops. That takes you to the middle of nowhere. Star World 3. This one's really simple too. Oh no, Yoshi! If you would have ran past the finish line, I would have been done. Because I rely on the blue Yoshi to, um, to finish all these stages. See, the blue Yoshi, whenever he eats any Koopa, any shell, like turtle, he has the ability to fly. Whereas, if you had a green Yoshi, only the blue shelled Koopas can make you fly. The red Yoshi, I'm just checking to see if this is Bowser's place, and it's not. The red Yoshi, any Koopa you eat allows you to spit fire. And the yellow Yoshi and a Koopa you eat allows you to stomp. And like, when you stomp, all enemies near you die. But the most useful is definitely the blue, so I'm going to use his ability right now. Now the thing is, I need... Usually, I would need a green Koopa. Because the key is hidden in a block. And I need that block to get hit. But if I use a red Koopa to fly there... It'll, I'll just spit it out as fire, and I won't be able to to hit that switch right there. But luckily I have the feather, so I can just feather, like spin at it. And that's it, we're done. Now we can go to Bowser's castle directly. Awesome. And here we are, Bowser's castle, the front door. Can't take Yoshi with you, sadly, in any dungeon. So I'm gonna go right over here, room number two, and this is probably the easiest. Uh, each room, one to four, gives you a different like path, basically. And two for me is the easiest. So there's five, six, seven, and eight. And with the feather equipped or fire flower, eight's the easiest for me. So I'm gonna do that in the interest of time and just feather through all these guys. Hell out of my way. And now we're in the last part of the dungeon where it's dark and you can hit a switch for light. Even though you could probably do the part, this whole part in the dark also because you could still see. Now these enemies, Mecha Koopas, you can't kill with the, with the feather. But you can jump on them and carry them and throw them. But this part's not very difficult at all. And we're done. Time for the final boss Bowser. And he has three forms to him. The first form, he just flies left and right. 
and then when he's ready he'll drop out two mecha koopas that you can grab and then throw up at him and all you gotta do you just gotta hit him twice but you have to hit him if you hit the ship he's in they'll just bounce off so it's important to hit him directly there we go now he's gonna do this little sequence where he uh comes at you and then fire starts falling and the mecha koopas don't stay stunned forever so you gotta kinda like let them go and then hit them again if you wanna pick them up and this sequence is pretty easy to um and peach will throw you a mushroom as if you need it now in this one he kinda like will always follow where you are left and right and he tries to drop a giant thing on you, a giant cannonball, but you can just use your spin jump and jump on it. It's really not that hard. And it's funny because there are some bosses in the game that are harder than he is. So I don't know why Nintendo usually does that. Even in the Legend of in Link to the Past, uh, Ganon was harder than, I mean easier than some of the other bosses. Especially the fourth boss, fuck that thing. So now same thing, he just drops some fire everywhere. And you can spin jump on the fireballs too. Oops, didn't mean to kill him. You can li and she gives you another mushroom, being very generous. And now I'm just playing around. Oops. Alright, alright. And he drops two more mecha koopas and you just toss him up and hit him very straightforward he wasn't even there then he'll rise up and give you princess peach and that's the game guys at least the fast version but going through every stage and every boss and every world and finding all the secrets really makes the game worthwhile. And then they give you a, spe a special zone where the stages are really difficult and if you beat them all it changes the whole, the whole game. All the enemies are different. I mean they just look different. That's all. And the textures are different. Everything's different. Which is pretty cool. Now we see a couple of fireworks and then the ending sequence and we're done. pretty much it. You'll see our, our good friend Shigeru Miyamoto and a couple of other people in the credits. Also in uh, Zelda you'll see as producer Shigeru Miyamoto and you can reference that from my other video. And that's it. So now the credits are gonna scroll up and you'll probably recognize the theme that comes later or right now from uh, New Super Mario Brothers because it, it's a direct adaptation from it. And also in uh, Smash Brothers, some of the uh, on Delfino, it uses portions from this song. So you'll just see them walking, walking a bit until all the Yoshi eggs hatch and then they'll show all the enemies in the whole game. And then they'll show all the bosses, and then we're done. So I'll let you enjoy the music. And if you guys have any ideas for what games I should do next, leave in the comments. Please tell your friends, and uh, like and subscribe. Thank you. Thank you.